debates and decisions that are shaping our continent now in Europeans. There's change afoot in Cyprus. From the 1st of January next year, 30 Cypriot pounds will become exactly 51 euros and 26 cents as Cyprus joins the Eurozone. Shopkeepers have been busy re-tagging their goods since September with prices in pounds and euros to help Cypriots get used to their new currency. It's a move described by the Central Bank of Cyprus as one of the most important changes in the country's history. But Cyprus is a divided island. The northern part, which is occupied by Turkey and not recognised internationally, won't be making the switch. So it's the south which has provided the symbol for the one and two euro coins, a 5,000-year-old idol found in the village of Pomos. It's a unique example of prehistoric art in Cyprus, not found anywhere else in the Mediterranean. A fitting symbol then, according to a top Cypriot archaeologist, to represent the country on the new coins. The signification of this idol is a gesture of preventing of the evil. Because the open hands of a human figure uh, from the antiquity uh, and from the prehistoric period supposed to prevent uh, something for, to be attacked by an evil spirit. For thousands of years, Cyprus has found itself at the crossroads of change, of conquering armies in the eastern Mediterranean. Settlers arrived from Greece, from Turkey and the Syrian coast. Palestinian and Cretan cultures left their mark, and the island saw the arrival of Persians, Egyptians, Romans, the French, Venetians, Ottomans and the British. An independent state was established in 1960 and three years later the central bank issued the republic's first coins. So in joining the euro, Cyprus is saying goodbye to 44 years of modern monetary history. But at the Bank of Cyprus Cultural Foundation, the Museum of the History of Cypriot Coinage goes back considerably further, housing treasures from the very early days of trade and commerce. Coinage was uh, introduced in Cyprus from the Greek world in the middle of the 6th century BC. The Cypriot city kingdoms, despite the fact that they were under the Persian rule, issued their own coins following a common weighing standard. This silver ram was among the first coins to be issued in Cyprus. And a similar theme has emerged today with longhorn sheep gracing the new one, two and five cent euro coins. And so, the days of paying for halloumi, paximadi, and the high-strength drink Zivana with Cypriot pounds are numbered. And figures show that more and more people affected by the change are becoming keen on the move. Twelve months ago, research found just 21% thought they would benefit from the euro. Now, the number is 51%. The Cypriot economy has grown by 4% a year over the past four years, but productivity levels don't yet compare favourably with the Eurozone. So to join the Euro, Cyprus had to implement some tough financial reforms. When Cyprus joined the European Union, uh, the uh, deficit uh, was uh, quite excessive and that to GDP ratio was over 70%. So in, in the short few years uh, since then, the government finances have improved tremendously. But the rating agency, Capital Intelligence, reckons debt will continue to fall further below the threshold in the Maastricht Treaty by the end of 2009. The mandate of the ECB is straightforward, to keep price stability over the medium term, which is the best way in which the central bank can promote economic welfare throughout the euro area. Inflation in Cyprus has seen a significant fall echoing the downward inflationary trend seen throughout the Eurozone and highlighting the price stability made possible through monetary unification. There might be an air of excitement as they queue at the central bank for their swish new starter kits, but the governor is urging prudence, stressing the importance of maintaining moderate wage settlements, especially in the public sector. Entering uh, an area like the euro area with a single currency, with a single monetary uh, policy, places a premium on continued vigilance to maintain solid uh, fiscal finances, which means we can never afford to have a high deficits going forward. The government deficit peaked at 6.3% of GDP in 2003, but fell to 1.5% last year, well below the Maastricht red line.
joining the euro provides insurance that our currency uh, will not be buffeted by external developments uh, that, that can create uh, so many problems in a small open economy, instability in the, in the foreign exchange uh, uh, market. As the European Central Bank rates hovered between 2 and 4 percent, Cypriot borrowing has got steadily cheaper, boosting investment and growth and creating jobs. This artist's work will soon be gracing purses and pockets throughout Europe. Along with a colleague, Tatiana Sotoropoulos won the competition to design the first ever Cypriot Euro coins. And designing on a small scale was a major change for someone used to creating big format artworks. It was more of an honour to work on something that was going to represent the currency of my country. Uh, of course it's the euro as we know it, but this is the chance to have a little bit of a touch of each country's uh, culture. And we have included in Turkish, Cypriot, in Turkish language Kypris, which means Cyprus, and um, over here is Kypros in Greek. In the northern Turkish occupied part of Cyprus, the ancient port of Kyrenia. Four decades ago, a sponge diver discovered a shipwreck dating from the 4th century BC. At the time, it was one of the oldest ships ever to have been found and the only preserved ship from the Greek classical era. 75% of the vessel was still in good condition. The ship of Kyrenia, carrying more than 400 amphorae of wine and oil, symbolizes just how central Cyprus has been in international trade. And so it's to take its place on the 20 and 50 euro cent coins. When he's not making a living mending cars, Conrad Dervish is a tourist guide for visitors to Kyrenia. And he knows the story of the ship which went down 2,300 years ago. It's an ancient Greek ship and it came uh, from Crete, uh, stopping at uh, Rhodos, the Anatolian uh, coast of Turkey and then coming to Cyprus. The Silk Road was uh, passing through the island because the Mediterranean is a such large area where the ships had to stop for bread and water. Northern Cyprus is already experiencing international economic isolation because of Turkey's occupation. The introduction of the euro in the south of the island might serve to further emphasize the financial and economic differences between the two parts, giving a green light for an influx of foreign investment to the southern shores of this Mediterranean island.